When we talk about animation, what kind of animation jump to your mind first? American animation, Japanese animation, or British animation? So, what type of animation is the most popular and widely spread in the world? According to the statistic of all-time worldwide box office from the, the numbers between 1997 and 2021, it indicates that the top 50 animation box office champions, the animated films produced or distributed by the Walt Disney Company, and its subsidiaries such as Pixel accounts for the approximately 50 percent. Although these animation are produced or cooperated by different studio, their animation are inevitably affected by Disney due to Disney's acquisition of this studio. It is obvious that the animation films distributed by Walt Disney Company account for the majority in the global animation market. Disney has a significant influence in global animation industry in arts. Culture and commerce. However, animation as a creative industry, innovation is important for maintaining the sustainable development of industry. Whether Disney's hegemony in the global animation industry is beneficial for the innovative ecology, is worth to explore. Therefore, this video essay will explore to what extent Disney's animation affect and restrict the innovation in the global animation industry. Firstly, I will analyze the. What Disney Company success. Secondly, how Disney influence global animation industry will be exploited by considering the theory of innovative economy. To start with, we need to know why what Disney's animated films are so influential. First, it is suggested that what Disney's company, uh, their films demonstrate a strong, consistent, stylized signature. In other words, branding. Researcher and scholar points out that. Stylized and prominent cues in anim in the animation are consistently and continuously reinforced in multiple films, which will shape the authority of the brand. We can identify a series of stylized cues with high consistency in the, including character design, narrative, motion, music, visual art form, story content, etc. Second, Disney's animation has a specific goal. They aim at family theater. And the same are mainly focused on the children's stories and has a certain adult-oriented narrative to attract family units into the theater, not only targeting on the family units, but also the content of the story follows the trend of the mainstream ideas, such as combination of the modern feminism and the contemporary Disney's princesses. Secondly, the advanced technology, Disney priorities. Develop computer graphics imaginary in the expert level by purchasing other studios such as Pixel Studio, which expanded its develop space and competitiveness. Thirdly, Disney entered the global market. Since its domestic market cannot satisfy its own needs, it needs to expand its scale and influence. Therefore, Disney market its animation to other countries. Or produce exotic films to expand the international market for gaining a higher market share. Due to the Disney's own success and its entry into the international market, its influence also has an impact on animation production in other countries. First is the technical influence, as animation is a short life cycle of cultural product. Animation studio have a demand of rapid. Such demand lead to animation studio to seek international cooperation through the exchange of technology, knowledge, co-production or outsourcing. Disney, as the expert of CGI, oversee cooperation, promote the development of the animation industry in the other regions to some extent. The second is the permission to broadcast movie in the other country, which provides the chance for other countries to learn and imitate. For example, Chinese animation Ne Zha Zhi Mo Tong Jiang Shi, launched in 2019, its character design and visual style show similarity with Disney and Pixel animation. The third is the study of business mode, branding promotion. For example, Japanese Ghibli Studio present a very stylized signature in visual design, narrative, and music, etc. However, what does Walt Disney's influence represent in the global animation industry? Before discussing its influence, we need to consider the generalized how animation as a 
creative industry, figure with the economy frameworks, with the dynamic development. Crossex and Kassinskar propose three models in the AHRC cultural value project, including competitive growth and innovation. Specifically, the innovation model is noteworthy. The creative industry is regarded as a structural part of innovation system of the whole, rather than a sector within the economy framework. The products of the creative economy are produced based on art and culture, and the interaction between cultural sector and creative industry relates to four dimensions to the contribution of the innovation. As a supplier of creative products, we can analyze Disney's influence to itself and its international influence through these dimensions. The first dimension is the relationship between creative industry and innovation. The creative industry itself has a strong demand for innovative ideas and performance. Animation is a creative product. Animation companies need to continuously provide new products to meet the needs for audience. For the innovation of the product supply chain, Disney's influence involves the following aspects. The first aspect is the theme and the content embrace the mainstreaming tendencies. Early Disney were loyal to the brand and refused to change from contemporary transformation and liberal tendencies. Their animation were controversial and limit their scale of commercial development. In order to conquer a larger market, Disney transformed the story theme into a contemporary value system such as anti-racism and feminism. As an influential company, their changes played a leading role in the global animation. However, scholars criticize that there are still old-fashioned values in the contemporary Disney animation. For example, gender norms in contemporary Disney princess are very contradictory. Girls need to work but don't need to work. They must be weak and strong. The second aspect is the development of art forms. Since Disney and Pixar had developed expertise CGI in early stage, which drive the scale of 3D animation market development. At the same time, Disney's global market promoted the development of the other animation industry, which the global animation market transformed from the traditional 2D to the 3D market structure. From the top 50 box office animation movie, 2D animation accounts for less than 10%. This indicates the proliferation of 3D animation and large-scale occupation of the market. The popularity of 3D animation and Disney's influence in the global animation also can be identified in the other countries. For example, Chinese 3D animation, The White Snake, Nerja Zhi Mo Tong Jiang Shi, etc. The visual style and the art forms of this 3D animation are very similar to the of Disney's and Pixel animation. This idea can be further supported by my interviewee, Quan An Li. Yeah, uh, actually, <coughs> Chinese government tried so hard to establish their local Chinese animation. Mm -hmm. We have Xiong Chu Mo and yeah. Ling Long and Yi Ren Zixia those including 2D traditional type or 3D uh, animation. Uh, but it's sad to say, uh, mm -hmm. we often to score, I often to see those product or those work uh, chasing the Japanese or American animation style. So they are quite similar actually. You can see they change the story to Chinese tale story or the story Chinese will uh, feel happy with or feel familiar with, but consider the art pipeline or art style, they are not innovate. The third aspect is the branded products. Loyalty to the brand is beneficial for the development of the animation industry especially in areas where the animation industry is undeveloped. For example, China is trying to establish branded products 
and Ghibli Studio in Japan has established a mature branded product. However, from the perspective of business, branding also could restrict themselves, such as visual style, narrative, which their animation might easily outdate it. However, Pixel Animation So launched in 2020 seems to represent what Disney's attempt to make changes. Convergency between 2D and 3D art forms in one film, this kind of change might imply Disney's try on art innovation. The second dimension to analyze Disney from the perspective of art education and practice. Under the influence of globalization, what Disney pursued the internationalization of the entertainment values of U.S. mass culture. Therefore, its large market occupation can attract more people to join the animation industry. However, there is a problem is that entertainment or commercial animation occupies almost the entire market. It's, it's really sad to say, but uh, the commercial environment decides what audience will receive uh, even though i want to watch something really uh, uh, let's say innovate in story or like unique with its storytelling or but the, the truth is i don't know where to get it because i don't have the channel they 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 also don't have the channel in media to let me to understand un unless i really dig hard to find this kind of material so I can find it. But, but the, what, the point of watching animation is you want to be entertained. The exposure of experimental animation is indirectly or and slowly to the public. Unlike the commercial animation, experimental animation is usually an incubator for innovative art. However, the promotion of this is innovative animation requires a certain social acceptancy, and Disney's social acceptancy is very high. Not only the audience, new Chinese who enter animation industry also are largely impacted. Do your students have a cognitive stereotype of animation, like how they actually understand the animation industry? Uh, they barely understand it. They don't have... First, they don't have a working experience, so uh -huh. they don't know how the animation actually be produced. They could only do their solo project, like, like doing one minute or two minute animation work to understand, okay, this might uh -huh. be the, the way of doing animation. And uh, the, the media they perceive is mostly for from Japan and also um, USA, so they didn't see other type of animation, especially the, the one with the most highest art value, experimental animation. They, they never see this kind of thing before. This situation may limit the public's understanding of animation, thereby reducing the participation of innovative talents. The third dimension is the cultural sector innovation and the rise of co-production. Here, co-production is noteworthy. Since Disney has entered the international market, Disney needs overseas cooperation for more profits. The cooperation could include co-production, outsourcing, and overseas broadcasting, such a serial of cooperation in overseas market. Therefore, Disney also could explore exotic story, such as Oriental story, Mulan, Pacific story, Moana, Mexican story, Coco, etc. Disney's view are not only to open the overseas market, cater to the politic economy, but also to satisfy the Western audience fantasy of exoticism. However, Disney's exotic films are highly controversial and criticized by many scholars because of this respect of local culture. They use exotic story to package Western story and colonial thinking indicated by music and screenplay. The colonization demonstrated in following aspects. First, narrative structure and its discord with typical Western Disney style. Second, Disney claims to support diversification on one hand. On the other hand, the local labors are not directly involved in the creative development. Third, cultural elements are extracted and become Disney IP. 
it cannot be denied Disney opened a larger market and promote multiculturalism. Her advertisements are generally positive. However, the Western colonial elements encode in narrative, music, script development, which make the story merely satisfy the fantasy of audience who don't know understand the culture. Which make the story merely satisfy the fantasy of audience who don't understand the culture. At the same time, the local culture is stolen and may face to IP problems, which has a bad impact on the local and its animation industry. To sum up, whether it is art, culture, or commerce, Disney will have an impact on itself and the innovation of the global animation industry, both negative and positive effects. Animation as a creative industry. Innovation is a dynamic product between culture, art, and commerce, and is effect effective by many aspects. This video essay discussed Disney's impact on the innovation of global animation industry, but animation industry in the other region is also affected by its own ecology. This is affected by many aspects, including the local policy and culture. Therefore, Disney's influence on the animation industry in other regions is not absolute. This issue needs to be further explored.